today I'm gonna be testing a charger an adjustable charger that works for a lot of voltages and I didn't know they existed other than the green satiator which we have two of and they are great but they are not perfect one of our green satiator is giving us a lot of problems most people do not pay 300 euros for a charger they want to have something a little bit cheaper otherwise it's a lot cheaper to buy just a couple of chargers for the project you need this one comes with a lot of information both in chinese and in english on the back side and it's supposed to be able to charge from a single cell 3.7 volts up to 58.8 volts it's 60 volt maximum not 60 volt nominal so you can't charge 60 volt batteries with it but it's still pretty cool and it's supposed to be able to charge uh, five different chemistries so let's see how to operate this thing and i have 124 and 136 volt battery and i'm also gonna be charging via this watt meter so i can see what's actually happening oh it also has the specs on the back side and a nice little holder so you can put it on the wall next to your youtube award and it has mood voltage plus voltage minus amps and on off cool and it comes with a dc connector kind of robust nice okay so it's starting at 3.2 volt one amp and i can fair the hear the fan spinning okay it wants me to sell like the nominal voltage of the cell oh here you can see like before 3.4 lead acid 4 nim 1.2 adjustable adapter Lion battery, Lion high voltage. We're gonna start with the 24 volt. It's for every stage. Uh, I think we have to lower the amps to be able to proceed. Yeah, there we go. 29.6. Shouldn't it be 29.4? Uh, it's close enough. It won a short of 4 amps. That's pretty good. And then we have start. It's actually pretty simple. And this one shouldn't turn on and because the charger isn't on. Let's turn it on. Why is it 33.5 volts? Okay, that's the nominal. It's nominal. So we should have 25.9. That's the correct voltage. Right, right. 29.5 that sounds really good and uh, <laughs> these batteries are fully charged but we can still get a good guess on how it's working and does we do we know it's charging yeah it's measuring amps it doesn't have a LED like many charger it just measures the amps nice uh, I don't like the red letters it's kind of hard to tell I have to hold it like this to be able to read it properly but it's 0 0.94 because this one is almost fully charged as you can see yeah that's actually very accurate accurate let's try to 36 volts and yeah this red light turns on when you're charging it is a little noisy though yeah I guess that's the nominal yeah it's 1.9 it's really full but the charger yeah, cool what a nice little charger it looks kind of ugly in plastic and Chinese but it's actually working pretty good pretty good I was so in the press with this charger so I tested it a little bit more and then I actually went ahead and ordered 20 pieces this is a genius invention and it's a lot cheaper than the green satiator or most other universal chargers uh, however this company mostly sells adapters so i was a little bit afraid that this might be an adapter but i tried charging a battery full and it actually used the led screen to write full when the battery was full which was genius and you could actually see that the current was a lot lower when the battery was beginning to be full i decided to also open this up and have a peek inside to see how it's actually working so let's have a look inside some manual zoom yeah on the bottom side nothing fancy just about a bunch of solder terminals what are those white strips 
<laughs> oh, it's it's a small resistor, I think. It says 502 or something. The small SMD components that have been soldered on the bottom side. Strange. So let's see, I don't want to destroy this. Okay, it has a separate electronic part on the top side. So we can open this up. And from what I can tell, it uh, looks like any other charger we open up. Positive and negative. Two wires for the AC. And it has three MOSFETs on one side and one MOSFET on one side. And this component I haven't really seen in um, chargers. GBU810. You do 60 volt, so that might be what's limiting is to actually 60 volt. Is this transformer? Where does this two go? Oh, that, those are for the fan. And lots of small caps, and uh, that might be a small processor. Few of the components actually has any names, and I can't see any manufacturer or serial number on the PCB but it actually worked works great I'm impressed by this small little thing please comment in the comments if you find something interesting and if you know what this is it'd be really cool to know it has four legs